the UFC middleweight division fight. Well, ground and pound is a true art form, and whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch him take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position, he finds posture, he brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands these big right hands that makes his opponents fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound the opponents into the bottom of the octave. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. Well, he may not have the gold at home to prove it, but many believe on any given Saturday night, you are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa, the artist formerly known as Go Hashinha, but man, has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Joel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package, and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC gold of glory. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, huge hook. Watch knees to the body. Unable to connect there. Oh, blocks the shot. That one appeared to stun him. Go finish the fight. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Costa's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. Flips the left hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Big ball to punch land. Now he gets back to range. He blocks the punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Ten seconds now in round one. Horn sounds 
for the end of round one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Second round here. Big leg kick lands. And he continues to work the body here. <laughs> Overhand right, swing and a miss. Oh, big elbow. Nice straight punch. Costa's kick attempt. That one was blocked. Right on the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's able to slip the left there. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to chase that finish down now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Thirty seconds remain in the round. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Third and final round. Huge block there. Oh, shot to the body connect there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. He is so
so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things. No! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just out of range with that right hand. Big knee to the body. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to oh. very, very bad. He's out! He's done, he's done! What a fight! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by not Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for 